Hey guys, so welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul, and thank you so much for all your likes, comments, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are a new viewer, then go to my channel, watch all these videos, and if you're liking these videos, and if you want to be part of the Smart Trader family, then you can hit this subscribe button to be part of the Smart Trader family. Also, don't forget to hit this bell icon so that you get notification whenever I upload a video. For the ones who wants to, uh, ones who wants additional services, you can always WhatsApp our team. Like I always tell, seven eight nine two six five two four eight one is your number. Uh, the website is in maintenance mode, so it will take some few months uh, for it to be updated. Uh, they are working on it. So, anyways, you can WhatsApp our customer care team seven eight nine two six five two four eight one only for additional services. And for the ones who wants to open an account through Zeroda or Upstock. You can click the links given here. Uh, if you see Zeroda and Upstock, you can click the link, or in the video description, you can click and open an account with these uh, DMAT brokers, whichever you like. And uh, these are basically trading accounts. So whoever opens this account, you will be added to our trading uh, Telegram group. So without wasting time, uh, let's start off with today's topic. So like you know, uh, we had asked for a lot of uh, requests. Uh, if you see in our video, we had asked for a lot of requests. If you have not seen that, then just go to this video. Um, video topics by subscribers. So I just upload one day's comment only. So we have almost 50-60 topics mentioned by our subscribers. So to do that only, it takes a lot of time. So first let me complete that. So I did one video, uh, entry and exit point in intraday trading. So just good response from you guys. So same way today I will do how to pick a stock. So few of the people have asked how to pick a stock in intraday. So I will cover up that topic also. So uh, I was in Malaysia for my birthday. Uh, I was invited by my friends. So I just landed to India. So anyways, it's been more than a week doing a video. So I thought let me do a hot chocolate video. So that is nothing but picking of stocks, which more people like it. So today we will discuss about picking of stock. Like you know, uh, not every... Uh, strategy of picking of stock will be 100% because you should know multiple ways of picking stocks, multiple strategy. When you go into the market, based on the situation, you need to react. But just by knowing one idea, you cannot, every day it will not work. So people who have practiced for more than a year or two years would have understand this secret. So learn these secrets uh, from different people. Now I'm sharing one method which I have observed. Like, you know, I keep sharing whatever I learned. So uh, you also can observe so never put money I'm not going to tell you what is the stop loss and all that it's up to you observe it and if you feel it is working out you can try it out if not please do not try if you're a beginner always do paper trading do not put your money now for this method we will use NSE India uh, it's going to be a very simple method you can give a try just observe in the market so first simple thing which you have to keep in mind is our market rule smart trader thumb rule what is smart trader thumb rule for the ones who don't know uh, we will consider 0 0.20 see over here you see 2.14 so in case of it is 0 0.20 green then we go buy side if it is negative like this 0 0.20 we go to sell direction just to understand direction we do that if it is between 0 0.20 and negative 0 0.20 we don't trade that is neutral market so beginners avoid it people who have experience can take their direction based on their decisions so in this case for example if market is negative I obviously I will consider sell side I will not go against the market because I'm not that great expert to go against the market so based on that you need to decide I should not go against the market so now market is red example now market is closed market is red so once market is red you will go for sell direction suppose looking at your direction then you go into this particular over here analysis live market option live analysis go to most active securities all right now let's say you go to most active securities over here. I'm just highlighting out here. So in this, you have two options. One is this, the value, okay? And one is volume. Now, I would not say take value because if you see the stocks have already moved. So you have 5%, 7%. Now be careful. You have percentage over here, 5% over here. This is negative seven. This is negative five. This is negative four, negative three, okay? So based on the market direction, now this is more than 0 0.20 negative. That means sell direction, right? So based on the sell direction, I will consider stocks which are only negative, 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 negative. So I'm just ignoring S bank. The reason why I'm ignoring S bank is because I don't want to go against the trend. I will go with the trend. Trend is negative. So I'll go with the negative falling stocks. Okay. Now. 
now i said you value and volume now if i say about value obviously the stock has already moved i don't want stock which have already moved also because i want stock which will move more from the levels i will take so what i will do i will go with this option called volume now ignoring value i went to volume so now volume if you see it is saying in this case also it has s bank over here it has pnb over here but what i told you it's not the positive stock today the market was red so i always go with sell direction if i have to go to sell then why i have to go on negative falling stocks right not the stocks which are going up that means i'm going against the trend yes you can still observe these stocks achieving target sometime but it is always good as a beginner to go with the trend so this should match your trend over here now let's say pnb is an example so let me just add pnb so what you can do is okay fine so this is just a picking of stock so where you can pick the stock nse india live markets in this most active securities you will pick a stock from volume not value and you will take top stocks and one more thing just remember when you take stocks try to avoid stocks which are small like this idea sale because the reason is you know in these type of stocks you get stuck big profits big losses so just avoid these stocks what i would say always is above 100 stock is very good but in this case i don't have most of the stocks above 100 so at least above 60 i would consider so let's say these stocks are fine these stocks are fine okay so in this case yes bank is ruled out because this is in buy side i don't i'm not going to buy side because market is over here sell side so the stock available here is which one pnb so let me put pnb in the radar all right so i put pnb radar now what you can do very simple thing wait till 10 o'clock okay let's say see if you see this is a 10 o'clock line so wait till 10 o'clock line so market has been completed till 10 o'clock based on sell direction so till then market would have settled whichever direction it is going whether the stock is going up or going down it would have settled to one single direction so during that time whichever stock after post 10 o'clock whichever stock you are getting from this nse india this is the source book from here you are taking the stock how to pick a stock you picking from here and when to consider try to consider during 10 o'clock because it is more safer in one case the volume will be good okay and the market would have settled down at least one direction either buy side or sell sell side based on that the stock also would have come in the top list here ranking like 1 2 3 ranking which you see here in the volume so a certain stock would have been fixed so what do you do you go to such stocks post 10 o'clock okay so in this case let me mark this is 10 o'clock over here somewhere here you will have a low for selling what you have to consider only low for buying what you will consider only high okay so for selling now we are considering a stock which is falling so this is selling point over here is your selling point when i say over here whatever is the low of your stock after 10 o'clock now let's say open this pnb okay see this is the low low of pnb is how much 72.40 so at 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock whatever is the low example for today around uh, the low was around somewhere 75 okay imagine it was 75 if you see this graph over here let's keep the 74.70 something so during that time 74.70 was your low so whatever is the low created the overall day low at 10 o'clock you will keep your order below that okay when i say below that keep at least 5 uh, paisa or 10 paisa now this stock is small stock 70 rupees 100 rupees so keep only 5 paisa 0.05 rupees you keep okay if the stock is about 300 then keep 10 paisa no problem okay so keep 5 paisa buffer for example like i told you imagine 75 was a low then you will keep 74.95 as your sell order 5 paisa down buffer okay 10 o'clock whatever is the low overall low not candle low or whatever low it is overall day low okay so whatever is the day low you will keep your sell order below that now profit if i ask how much should i put target now it's your observation i'm just telling you technique which i have observed so you should also observe this that's an important rule don't trade do paper trading so for beginners what i always tell is observe only 0.3% target because 
intraday you can do every day so why do you want to take all the profit in one day itself so book your profit at 0.3 percent beginners don't break your head rest people who have experience who are using a lot of indicators or support assist whatever uh, indicators you're using or techniques you're using you can consider and observe based on your experience but for beginners i always recommend 0.3 percent as a movement from there so start observing 0.3 percent movement this is the homework for all of our subscribers this is how you guys can improve so start observing this method don't blindly believe anybody just try to practice that once you feel it is comfortable it's not that every day like for example monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday this will work no this will not work like that just observe which other days these work post 10 o'clock is it working or not that was my observation so now you also can observe so we pick a stock from nse india and we try to wait till 10 o'clock and we wait for the low breakout if the stock was if the market was if the market was green what you would have done you would have taken stock which are in uptrend in this case s bank was uptrend then you will put s bank in your radar and then you will wait for the 10 o'clock after 10 o'clock what you will do you will wait for the high breakout high breakout and you will keep 0.05 paisa above or if it is above 300 rupees stock you would have kept 10 paisa above so overall this is how you can observe so i just told you a technique when to check you can check on different time frames okay whichever time 10 o'clock 11 o'clock whichever time 9 30 you want to check you can check but this is a source where you can pick stocks which have volume the logic here is the stocks which have volume will have good volume and when i say these are the stocks which have a higher volume in traded quantities okay so when this stock is in the trend is in negative these are the stocks which are falling and most sellers are there in the stock so when you sell you get that advantage and how much advantage we take we take only 0.3 percent advantage then we are out of the trade it's all about taking advantage so this is how you have to take a stock which is trending at the right time so when i take at 10 o'clock i will come and check here to see which is the stock here not seeing a stock at 9 15 and then trying it at 10 10 o'clock no you have to come at 10 o'clock then you have to come and see the stock which is available at 10 o'clock because later the stock may change so if example if you want to try this at 11 o'clock then 11 o'clock you have to come and see which is the stock over here first you need to see your market direction based on market direction whether i should go on a positive stock or negative stock if it is positive stock on a above high of 10 o'clock or if it is negative then below the low of the negative stock if you're doing at 11 o'clock again you will come and uh, got a pop up again you will come here and you will sit and check which are the stocks available at 11 o'clock based on the market direction now 11 o'clock the market direction what if it was green so based on that you need to decide whether i have to go buy side whether i should go sell side based on this criteria every time frame you see not seeing at morning 9 15 market was red whole day i will sell no the time you're trading you need to see what is the market direction apply our thumb rule of 0 0.20 above is green negative 0 0.20 we are going to sell if it is in between then we call it as neutral okay so keep this thing in mind hope this uh, method will help a lot of beginners so whoever are starting trading or who are already doing from six months one year following a channel you can just do paper trading like all we know that is the power we do paper trading don't ever put your money and lose your money uh, before you lose your money do some learning then come into the market so that you will get to know whether market is for you or not so anyways thank you so much for watching this video please do hit that like button to this video and also try to share this video to as many as your friends in whatsapp group telegram group or wherever it is share this video to all your friends colleagues friends everybody and also subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed for amazing videos see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye one thing is